Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black 2 with Batalon. Uh, we got a sort of interesting one today here. Uh, I just wanted to show you the um, the mystery gift for that Pokemon Keldeo I was talking about in the last episode. So I'm getting it using the, uh, the Wi-Fi event on my uh, DS right now. So <clears throat> you can get this in Black 2 and White 2. And I'm just going to show you what happens. Uh, you get Keldeo. It's pretty cool. Receiving gift. Bam! Keldeo. What you know. Gift has been received. Please pick up your gift from the delivery man in any Pokemon Center. Awesome. So this event is now complete. Um, and what that means is that we can now load up our file of the game and go pick up our Pokemon Keldeo. I have not yet decided whether or not I'll actually keep this for the the entirety of the LP, but, I mean, I can, I guess. If you think I should leave it on my team, leave me a comment in the comments below. But for now, we're just gonna, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna go pick up Keldeo. Um, so we were gonna go into the Verbank Complex, but instead, we're gonna go on a short journey to teach Keldeo its special move. Who has it? Oh no, it's not what I want to do at all. No. 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 Do you have my Pokemon? Oh, this guy's got it right here. Good evening, you must be Tempest. I've received a mystery gift for you. Here you go. Sweet, we got Keldeo. That was kind of funny. I can't believe I walked right by him. Alright. We now have a Keldeo. And it knows the following moves. Let's see. Level 50! My god! Wow! Holy cow, level 50. It knows Sacred Sword, Sword Dance, Hydro Pump, and Aqua Jet. Oh my god, this thing is broken. And its item is a PP Max. What? Oh my god. Alright, I don't think I can keep this on my team. It's too broken. I am, however, going to show you where to go to get the... Uh, that special move for it though because that's important also for some reason my 3DS thinks it's March 27, 2011 I guess which isn't isn't even close to true yo we's about to learn a special move we're going into the forest Yay. Alright. So now that we have our Keldeo, three sharp marks are deeply cut into the rock. Keldeo seems to want to get out of the Pokeball. Will you let it out? Heck yeah, I'm gonna let it out. I'm gonna let Keldeo do its thing. Keldeo, you look like you're, uh, being really suspicious over here. Okay. The determination carved into the rock by Kobalion, Verizion, and Terrakion reminded Keldeo of Secret Sword. But Keldeo can't know more than four moves. Delete an existing move for Secret Sword? Yes. No! I did that wrong. No! I will never give up. Never surrender. Alright, Secret Sword is a special move. 85 power, 100 accuracy. I'm just gonna go to Swords Dance. It seems fine to me. Yes, it's okay. Awesome! So now Keldeo knows Secret Sword. Keldeo is. What? 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 
And it changes form into its resolute form, I believe. Bam, Keldeo is a freaking BAMF now. Resolved to battle and has changed into resolute form. There we go. And Keldeo decides it's back into the Pokeball. Alright, so Keldeo is now a monster. An even greater monster than before. So let's see what happened. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's gonna be people in the face if it ever gets a chance to fight. But that's Keldeo, and we taught it its secret sword ability. And I told you we were gonna do this soon. We just got it done. So if you're playing this on an actual DS system like I am right now, um, I would recommend doing that. You can do this until the 15th of February, so you got you got a little bit of time still. So I would definitely go ahead and do that. Because I don't see why you would not want to, to be honest. It's just awesome, really. Alright, so that's our little side excursion for the day. And then I'm going to go put Keldeon away, because there's no way I'm using a level 50 Pokemon in my team. But, it's there. It is in fact there. And nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. And we will deposit Keldeon in the first box. Okay. Now we're gonna go do the Verbank complex. So for those of you that are waiting for that, thanks for the patience. For everybody that came for the mystery event, there you go. Alright, Verbank Complex. So I could go to the gym leader in this town, but that would just be bad right now. And we'd get stomped in the face. Oh, we don't have cut yet. Anything special against the wall? Nope. Alright. Hey there, trainer. Looks like you got energetic Pokemon there with you. Can I ask a favor? I need to get the workers in this complex fired up. How about it? Help a guy out, will you? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. There's some new workers here in the complex. Go get those three rare to go. All right. So he wants you to run around and fight everybody. I guess we'll have to do it. All right, time for a Pokemon battle. Let's begin. All right, youngster Masahiro. Gotta love the mixing of the American and uh, Japanese names in these games. All right, Ryalu. Just because you're barely higher in level doesn't mean you can't beat this thing up. We're gonna use counter and hope that it attacks. Odor Sleuth, Odor Sleuth, that doesn't help me at all. I'm gonna use counter again though, because quick attack isn't gonna do a whole lot of damage. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. It's gonna barely do anything anyway. All right, maybe quick attack is faster. Watch, now it'll use like tackle or something. Bite. Is that all it knows? I thought it learns tackle before bite. Yo, Lily Pup, you're cr There we go. Tackle. Smart. Why it wasn't doing that from the start, I'm really not sure. But it wasn't, so I guess that's just how it's gonna go. And Riley levels up to level 15. Ryalu, one day you'll become a Lucario and it'll make me happy. Oh, you learned Force Palm now? Oh, yes! Um... I'm gonna get rid of Faint because I'm never gonna use that. I'm never gonna have to use that move. I'm gonna be honest. It's It's got its one use and it's never gonna become important. Because if you're fighting right, you don't need it anyway. Alright, so I'm going to just show off a couple of things about this place. You can find Magbees here. I'm probably not going to run into a Magby, but... Oh! A Magby! Okay, I lied. First thing I saw was a Magby. Um, if you want to get Magby, Magmortar, Magmar, either one of those three. Um, you're going to want to catch Magby. So you can do that here. 
You can also catch Magnemite and Growlithe. Um, you can... I caught my Growlithe over here. And there's a tiny mushroom there, which you can sell for some cash. Then there's this weird sign... Ah! Oh, please be Magnemite. Nope. Magby. Okay. Well, that's not gonna help. Because I don't want Magmar, nor do I want Magmortar. I do want Magnezone, though. Because Magnezone's awesome. Alright, this dude over here talks about all the different aspects of the science, and he's like, Oh, my knowledge overflowed, and it was overheard, and then he runs away. And then if you chase after him, you can talk to him again, which I don't know why you'd want to, but... Double Growlithe! Growlithe is the rarest Pokemon you can find in this section, if I remember correctly, and we found a double of it. Which is a little bit ridiculous. I'm just gonna try and kill them because the experience actually seems helpful here. They both used Helping Hand. That's smart. That's how you win the fights. Force Palm, why are you so good? Oh my god, Force Palm. So happy right now. Alright, and then these two should be taken after that. Maybe they'll actually use Helping Hand to do something relevant this time? Probably not. Oh, maybe they will. Like, take out my Ryalu. Well, I guess all the experience goes to Oshawa, and that's fine, too. Because Oshawa could use the experience more. Because Oshawa's going to evolve soon. Ember's not going to do anything to me. What's wrong with you? You burned me? I'm a water type. That's weird. That's just weird. Alright, I didn't really need that crit, but sure, why not. Okay, so you can find double Grelith, I guess, in that section. Oh, oh, no. Actually, oh, this is hellishly awkward. I want Magnemite, but I don't want to die. If I black out, it's going to be horrible. I'm going to run away. Alright, um, you know what? I'm actually, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to make it a shorter one. And I'm going to go heal up my team and I'm going to catch a Magnemite. And then I'll see you guys all next time. Bye everybody.